Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pasala. This is Norris. Today I'll discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in part C. This question from classical mechanics. Let's see the question. Let small q1 q2 be the generalized coordinate and small p1 p2 be the conjugate momenta respectively let a and b such that capital q1 equal to this capital p1 equal to this capital q2 equal to this and capital p2 equal to this is a canonical transformation then we have to find which of the following statement are true before doing this problem we will recall the poisson bracket the poisson bracket so what is poisson bracket let any two continuous function f q p and z q p where q is a generalized coordinate q y and p is conjugate momenta p i then the poisson bracket of f z is defined by summation over i del f del q i into del g del p i del p i minus del f del p i into del g del q i okay this is the definition of poisson bracket now if we put f equal to small q k and g equal to a small p l so what we get poisson bracket of small q k or and small p l equal to summation over i from the definition what we can write summation over i del q k del q i into del p l del p i minus del q k del p i into del p l del q i now you can see the partial derivative of small q k with respect to small q i will give konica delta k i konica delta k i and and partial derivative of small p l with respect to small p i it will give konica delta l i and you can see the partial derivative of small q q with respect to small p i it will give zero and the partial derivative of a small p l with respect to small q i it will also give zero so basically this term do this term will zero so what we get basically summation over i delta conica delta k i into conica delta l i now what we know that the conica delta i is equal to one when i equal to z otherwise it will give zero so this is this term is summation over i so delta l i will be one when i equal to l otherwise it's zero so this term when i equal to l this term will be delta k l so basically we get delta k l so what we get basically basically we get basically we get conic card uh, poisson bracket of q k p l equal to conic card delta k l similar similarly you can check when for the similarly you can check poisson bracket of poisson bracket of q k q l will be zero from the definition from the definition also from the definition you can check you can check poisson bracket of p k p l will be zero okay this is your tax you can check this okay now what we get basically basically we get basically we get poisson bracket of q k p l equal to conic card delta k l and poisson bracket q k q l equal to 
zero Poisson bracket PK PL equal to zero. Now what we know that Poisson bracket invariant under canonical transformation. Poisson bracket is invariant under canonical transformation. Here what is given that we are given that the transformation equal to this and is canonical transformation. So the Poisson bracket will be invariant. So so from this what we can write since it is invariant capital QK capital PL will be delta KL and from this we can write capital QK capital QL will be zero from this we can write capital PK capital PL will be zero so basically we get Poisson bracket of capital QK capital PL equal to delta KL and Poisson bracket of capital QK and QL equal to zero and Poisson bracket of capital PK capital PK and capital PL equal to zero okay so when K equal to L equal to one K equal to L equal to one so Poisson bracket of capital Q1 P1 will be delta 1 1 and we know that this is 1 because this I equal to Z is there so what we get 1 equal to Poisson bracket Q1 P1 now from the definition from the definition we can write this as we can write this as we take the we we there is no the, there is summation over I here you can see that there is two component two two element two generalized coordinate q1 q2 and the two generalized momenta p1 p2 okay so there will be two term first for i equal to one and second for i equal to two so it can be written as like this uh, del q1 del q1 del p1 del p1 minus del q1 del p1 del p1 del q1 plus del q1 del q2 del p1 del p2 minus del q1 del p2 del p1 del q2 now what is q1 here q1 is let's see q1 is small q1 and p1 is a p1 plus 16 p2 so q1 is q1 is a small q1 and capital p1 is a small p1 plus 16 small p2 now you can see capital q1 is only q1 so delta capital q1 delta q1 will be one other term this this will be one and other term will be zero because capital q1 is only q1 okay so this is this will be give one and del p1 del capital del p1 p1 derivative of capital p1 with respect to small p1 with respect to small p1 what we will give a equal equal to a so this term will give a so basically we get one into a minus zero so basically we get a now you can see this is a this is a and this will this is equal to one so basically we get we get a equal to one from here okay now when k equal to l equal to two k equal to l equal to two so Poisson bracket of q2 p2 will be delta 2 2 this will be give one because there is delta is a i equal to z equal to 2 and we know that when i equal to z equal i equal to z delta is a give 1 so basically we get 1 equal to poisson bracket of q2 p2 similarly it can be written as del q2 del q1 del p2 del q p1 minus del q2 del p1 into del p2 del q1 plus del q2 del q2 del p2 del p2 minus del q2 del p2 into del p2 del q2 it can be written as like this 
now you can see what is q2 p2 p2 q2 q2 equal to small p2 p2 and p2 equal to 2q1 plus bq2 so basically what we get q2 equal to small p2 and p2 equal to p2 equal to 2q1 plus bq2 so you can see q2 equal to p2 so only partial derivative of capital q2 with respect to small p2 give one other term will give zero so this term will give this term will give one other term will give zero this will give zero this will give zero this will give zero because q2 is only equal to p2 okay so sorry 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 this term will give one and other term will give zero because del q2 p2 equal to one and this term will be zero because q2 equal to q2 equal to p2 and del this q2 p del q2 p1 also zero del q2 q1 equal to zero so this term will one so this term will give one and let's check this term del p2 del q2 del p2 del q2 will be b so basically what we get zero minus one into b so basically we get b minus b so from here what we get one equal to minus b so b which implies b equal to minus one previously we get a equal to one so what we get a equal to one b equal to minus one here you can see that what is said that a equal to one b equal to one what we get we get a equal to one and b equal to minus one okay we get a equal to one and b equal to minus one so option four should be false and a in option one what is said that a square plus b square equal to two a square plus b square equal to what one square plus minus one to square that will be give two so option one is true in option two what is said a minus b equal to two let's check one minus minus one that will also give two so option two is true in option three what is said that a plus b equal to zero let's check one plus minus one that will give zero but it gives two so option three is also false so option one and two are correct option and other option one other option three or four are false thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel and support us thank you very much